I want to do is show you how you can make a um, vintage Christmas bulbs. And these bulbs are very expensive in the store. If you try and go to purchase one, they can be very costly. So you can make your own for a little bit of nothing. Um, and I'm going to make a dozen of these in different ones. So today I'm just going to show you how to do this one. Different ways you can make it, which is really nice. Okay, go on to show you what you need. What I purchased this wedding. I went in the um, in the wedding material section and purchased uh, the. I guess you would say trimmings that you would do a wedding dress with. And I bought this, it was so pretty. It has a little um, beads already in it, it's beaded. You can put more in if you want. Um, you can also put your little diamonds in there too, which would really make it look nice. I got it from Joann's, but I used it on the 50% that they had. Um, also, you, uh, you're gonna need your bulb and this is some, uh, now you can stuff this. I wanted to let you know you can stuff this with that board, uh, feathers, or you can use uh, your paint. You, you can also do glass paint in here. What I'm doing though, uh, or you can use fur. What I'm doing is using some of the fur that I did my wreath and Christmas tree with. And what I did, I, uh, that I have a little piece that's cut. And what you can do is because it's stretchable, it's, uh, the material is stretchy. So I stretched it to the fullness and it goes like inward to where I didn't have to do anything. It closes that up to where it just looked like one piece. So what, I, uh, so what I'm gonna do is put this in here and this will give it a soft look also. I don't wanna put too much in to where I'm going to uh, flatten the uh, fur. So I'm just putting one piece in here. And then once I get it in, I'm going to shake it around. Now you can stuff your, your bowls with anything. You can do the, um, do your, um, uh, your fur. You can use your uh, feather, that bow, or you can use also your paint. And I just want a soft look. I don't want too much in, so. Shake it around really good so it can expand. I'll see later if I want to put another small piece in here, but, but this is fine right now. Then you need your Mod Podge, and you're gonna need your paintbrush.
So you notice that I'm just doing it, uh, just doing it on, I'm, I'm not really clamping it down. Um, I'm just forming it in. So what I'll do is with the Mod Podge, I'm going to go through it. And the Mod Podge would get it to stick like this. I have the front part of it already stuck. So that's sticking. Just placing it right now. Just placing it. You just follow your pattern. And then if you lose uh, lose your pattern, um, how your pattern is going, then you can always just, uh, that's another thing too, you might want to set it in with the glue gun first before you do that because then if it's something that you may make a mistake with, you can always just take it apart, you know, just take where you glue gun it and just fit it in, fit it in, that's it. And then that way, so you just keep wrapping it around. Now we eventually have to cut this off and fill it in places where it needs to be filled. I'll do this here. Now, what we're going to do is to decorate the bulbs. 